Sorbitol. Normally, when glucose enters the cell, it is phosphorylated and then metabolized through the hexose monophosphate and tricarboxylic acid cycle pathways, producing energy. When blood glucose levels are chronically high, as in a diabetic patient, the insulin-independent cells, such as those of the retina, nervous system, and seminal vesicles, receive larger amounts of glucose. The excess glucose is shifted to the aldose reductase pathway, which ultimately produces sorbitol, an osmotically active molecule. Because sorbitol cannot pass through the cell membrane, it is trapped inside the cell, drawing water to the inside by osmotic effect, causing the cells to swell and contributing to the pathological effects of diabetes.